The Russian army has struck the Aviatorskoy airfield in Nerpopetrovsk region for the second time in the last two days. As a result of the attack, the MiG-29 fighter, the S-300 anti-aircraft missile system, the radar station, and the hangar where the equipment for the aircraft was stored were destroyed by the explosion. Orlan drones directed the strikes launched by Iskandar anti-aircraft missile complex. It should be noted that as a result of the attack on the same airfield on April 18, two MiG-29 fighters and the S-300 anti-aircraft missile complex and hangar belonging to the Ukrainian army were destroyed. The nearby Dnepropetrovsk thermal power station was damaged. Ramzan Kadyrov may become new head of Russian Interior Ministry. Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov, a key ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, may take the post of Russia's Interior Minister, Russian propaganda media reported citing sources. As the Tsar Grad edition notes, the terrorist attack at Croker City Hall and the subsequent detentions of migrants may lead to a rotation in the post of the head of the Russian Interior Ministry. There are several candidates for Vladimir Kolokoltsev's place. The possible appointment of Ramzan Kadyrov to this post is assessed, ambiguously. On the one hand, his tough leadership can be effective in crisis situations. On the other hand, Kadyrov has no experience in leading a federal structure. Other names are also mentioned in the material. In particular, one of the possible candidates for the post of the head of the Interior Ministry is the director of the Federal Penitentiary Service, Arkady Gostev. Previously, he worked in the structures of the Ministry of Internal Affairs and held the post of Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs from 2012 to 2021. The name of Dmitry Mironov, a former aide to the Russian president and ex-governor of the Yaroslavl region, was also heard. The possibility of Kadyrov taking the post has not been ruled out, although it could be more of a threat to the existing structures of the ministry than a practically justified decision, experts believe, Russian media noted. Kadyrov, leader of the Chechen Republic, has been among the most aggressive Kremlin allies in the conflict, urging Russia to ditch peace talks with Ukraine, claiming to have fought on the front line. According to Ukrainian officials, Kadyrov and Chechen fighters were involved in a plot to assassinate Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in the early days of the conflict. Russia relocates ships from Black Sea to Caspian after Ukrainian operations. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky stated that after effective operations by Ukrainian forces in Crimea, Russia has decided to relocate its ships, including missile carriers, from the Black Sea to the Caspian Sea. Indeed, according to him in particular, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Syrsky, reported on the current situation on the battlefield and the results of strikes on Russian targets in Crimea. We are still awaiting final data but it is already clear that the occupiers have suffered painful losses. Also, according to intelligence reports, after our actions in the Black Sea, Russia is moving ships, including caliber missile carriers, to the Caspian, the president said. On April the 17th, Ukrainian defense forces, as stated by the representative of the defense intelligence of Ukraine, Andriy Yusov, carried out an essential and successful operation in Crimea. In particular, the armed forces of Ukraine attacked the airfield in the temporarily occupied Dzankoy area where explosions were heard and a fire started. 
the strike on the military airfield in Zankoi destroyed or critically damaged a number of Russian air defense systems. The air defense control center was also hit, according to the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine. As a result of a successful operation by Ukrainian troops on April the 17th at the military airfield in Zankoi in Crimea, four Russian air defense systems were destroyed or critically damaged. Four launchers of the S-400 air defense system, three radar stations, air defense control center, airspace surveillance equipment, Fundament M. The general staff of Ukraine explained that this caused unexpected losses in weapons and military equipment for enemy forces, significantly reducing the combat potential of the occupiers.